Hello and welcome to Bread of Life. Our speaker for this week is Dr. T.C. Brantley of Waterbury. God bless you, Connecticut, as you drive down 84, 95, Route 8, Route 15. Hopefully this will encourage you this whole week. We've been studying on the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit. I hope you've been blessed as we go into the Word of God. We're going from, coming from 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 19. It says, uh, 1, uh, 1 Thessalonians 5 and 19, quench not the Spirit. Oh, my goodness. The Lord had to give me a good whipping on this one. Because sometimes we will quench the spirit. Why? Now that tells me. Uh, uh, I did a Bible study on this uh, in our in our uh, Tuesday time. Is that when I quench, I am extinguishing out a fire. Many times, if we're not careful, you know, God wants to do great works in us, but we extinguish, we die out, we affect what God wants to do. Why? Because we're quenching. The spirit. We are holding back what God wants to do in our lives. We're quenching the spirit. We are trying to say, oh, no, I don't want this. Let's go to Ephesians 4 and 30. Ephesians 4 and 30 says, and grieve not the Holy Spirit of God, whereby ye are sealed unto the day of redemption. In other words, don't grieve the Holy Ghost. Don't stifle. Don't put it down. When you quench the Spirit, you're telling God no. What? Yeah. You are telling God no. Do you understand the magnitude of that? You saying to God, Nah, I don't want it. Oh, really? <laughs> you don't want God? You want to uh, 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 extinguish? And many of us, and uh, the, <laughs> this is a revelation God gave me, uh, you know, for me, but I give to everyone else. When I am depressed, that's a good sign. I extinguished the Spirit of God. Let's go to Psalms 51 and 11. What does it say? Cast me not away from thy presence and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Do you understand that? When I don't allow, I hope I'm helping somebody right now. When I don't allow the Spirit of God to take over, I go to a cold place. I told you in the Greek, the word quench means there's a fire that is taken out. So God gives all of us this fire. God gives all of us this anointing to go forth. But if we're not careful, we will resist. Last scripture, Acts 7, 51, it says, Ye stiff-necked and uncircumcised in heart and ears, ye do always resist the Holy Ghost as your father did. So people of God, in essence, as I close the book for this week, do not extinguish the Holy Ghost. Do not rely on your flesh more than on the Spirit of God. I pray this week will have blessed you and encouraged you to seek more of God and less of yourself. Father God, we thank you. We pray that this week was a blessing to your people as they enter and go forth in the Spirit of the living God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. You've been listening to Dr. T.C. Brantley of Waterbury, our speaker for this week on Bread of Life, a program to encourage you from God's Word.